first thing we should ask of them is to get the right information, to learn, to get training. So the number one requirement or the number one ask of executives is use your precious, super valuable time to put yourselves in front of the right information so that you can make the decisions that are rational for your businesses and for the world. Awareness. Awareness of the issues that we face and the trade-offs within the organization. So courage, because if you want to be a leader and a first mover in a space, you have to take risks. It can feel lonely and it can feel that you are ahead of your time and no one else is with you there. And that's the kind of courageous moves and decisions that needs to be taken. That executives, precisely wherever you work, you dare to challenge the status quo, you're there to do what you know is good for the future of the planet, the institutions, for the next generation. I mean, climate change is a systemic problem. It's a global problem. So there's not one government, there's not one organization, there's not one stakeholder group that can tackle it. It's the ultimate collective action dilemma. So collectively, all of our schools have many hundreds of thousands of executives. If all these executives actually came together, I think this could change the dynamics of what is happening in Europe. I think they can challenge us, and we need this. You would need this challenge from the executive communities. Help us help you. So help us understand not only what are the burning questions that you need answered, also help us understand what do you need students to be able to do and learn. The role of a school is to educate and to equip and inspire our communities, our students, our alums to have a positive impact in the world. One thing that business school know how to provide is a place for them to educate themselves, gain in awareness, gain new perspective, new mindset in how to approach these challenges. If we bring our schools together, we can really influence and engage with over half a million of alumni. So it's a huge number. And what strikes me is that now the eight business schools together, we have the power and the strength of this collective network. And we can leverage and build on that. And I think this is a huge advantage that we have. CEOs will tell you we need a clearer regulatory framework that encourages us. The time is ripe to interact with regulators and policymakers who are open to the kind of evidence-based analysis that we can provide. When we talk together with one voice as the eight schools, we're heard much better than if we just talk alone. to accelerate the development of pedagogical material. We can bring together researchers from across the spectrum, all of our disciplines, all sorts of different stages of career, become more than the sum of our parts.